Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Kitchen Aim. It's me, Ella. I'm sitting in my living room. I wanted to share with you guys the bags that I just added to my Etsy shop and a couple of little things just real fast. Just kind of like a catch up video. I do plan on filming an actual Snow Kitchen Name video, but probably not until Saturday or Sunday whenever I get a chance and get some more stuff done. <laughs> but the main reason for this video is to share the bags that's going into the Etsy shop. Etsy shop. <laughs> They're actually already up right now. If you want to check that out, it's in the, the description box below. And yeah, but I'm going to show them real fast. And then I'm going to show a couple other little things. Just because I want to. And I want to share them with you guys. Ugh. Okay, so in the Etsy shop, I finished them just like an hour ago. There are going to be two candy corn um, bags. It's kind of a busy print. Some far off. And then there are, there's only one of these now. There was two, but someone just ordered one a few moments ago. So there's only one of these left. And this is, I call it Halloween squares. Because <laughs> it's squares and they're Halloween themed. I love the colors on here. Super cute. But there's one of those. And then there's two sets of these. I call these Mandala cats. Because they're Mandala cats. <laughs> I think it's really cool looking. Kind of trippy. I was gonna call them trippy cats but I thought mandala cats was better. And they all do come with uh, notion bags that are zippers. Just regular bags, different color liners. <laughs> and then there's two sets of these sugar skulls. Really colorful. Very pretty. I'm trying to keep them organized so I'm not digging for them. And this is a really cute uh, print too. This is there's two sets of these up. It's like a autumn themed. That's not very Halloweeny. I think there's there's like jack o' lanterns kind of, but it's not scary or anything. It's just it's more autumn than it is Halloweeny. There's two sets of that. And then there's three sets of these Snoopy bags. I found this Snoop, Snoopy uh, fabric on clearance at Joann's and I just thought it was super cute. I think it was a Valentine's Day print. But, I mean, it's just hearts, which is kind of all the time. And Snoopy and Woodstock. Everybody loves Snoopy and Woodstock. So there's three of those. I had enough to uh, get three out. And then there's these cute little pigs. I just got this material because I thought it was cute. <laughs> little piggies. There's two of those. And then two more Halloween ones. This one is a bright orange jack-o'-lantern. This one doesn't have a notion pouch. Um, when I bought this material, it was a scrap piece. So there wasn't enough to make a notion pouch. So it's just a project bag by itself. And then this one does have a notion pouch. The black one. And it's black with jack-o'-lanterns. But those are all the new bags I just put up in the shop. I think there are three other sets that were already there. Two strawberry ones and one that's like a floral print. And I think that's everything that's in the shop other than my Halloween patterns. And speaking of my Halloween patterns, I started yesterday. Um, I had an idea for a pattern. And I'm not going to show the whole thing to you right now because it's not done. But I'm going to show you uh, two bits of it that I have done. But I started uh, last night designing another Halloween pattern. To, you know put on my Etsy shop and just to have because I think it's a cute idea <laughs> in my head but um, one part of it is a little jack-o'-lantern and I got it designed and already written up and what I'm gonna do is um, the whole thing will be sold as a pattern but I'm also gonna sell this little pumpkin pattern individually so if you don't want the whole thing you can just get the pumpkin but the mouth took me a little while last night to um, write I made probably 30 mouths last night working on this little pumpkin, but I think it turned out really cute. Just a little jack o' lantern, and you know you could make the eyes and mouth black to if you didn't want it to look like it was glowing. Yeah, it's up to whoever's making it. And then the second part of the pattern, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is though. I'm going to wait till I release it, but it's just kind of funny looking. But I will give you a sneak peek, anyways. Anyone who's watching this video, and this is part of it. <laughs> I'm hoping to get done with this pattern tonight so uh, I can hurry up and get it written and maybe throw it to a few people to test it real fast so I can get it out before too late in October. Hopefully in the next week or two I'll try to get it out. But so far this is 
all that you can see <laughs> and I will uh, let you guys know more about this when I get it done designed and then for my craft fair I wanted to show you guys this just because it's cute and I finished it <laughs> but it's living in my bag I got from Kim over at uh, Crafty, a Crafty Nomad uh, I bought this bag from her recently uh, last week or the week before that I can't remember but I love it because I love Christmas and I love the Grinch and um, I love bags so this is just perfect it's really full right now I got it stuffed I actually have the stuff to make another jellyfish in here and I have the stuff to make more of these little fish that I'm going to show you all just crammed in there so that I can take it with me because I, I have I've had this pattern for a while and then I printed it out I don't even have the name of the pattern this is let me show you the picture I'm pretty sure it was a free pattern, but just in case, it's not a very good picture. Well, <laughs> that's about all I can show you is that fish face. But the the writer, all that's on the pattern is their Etsy shop, which is Shimmery Creation. Uh, S H I M M E R E E Creations. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'll pop it up there. And it's a fish. <laughs> and this is it. I made it with, now I know what this yarn is called because I had people tell me in the video that I asked and then I looked it up and it is right. This is Red Heart Super Saver Ocean, which has become my new favorite variegated yarn. Um, this is a really pretty yarn. I looked over there because I thought I saw someone outside. But um, I absolutely love this yarn. I made a jellyfish, which you guys will see. In the next no catch your name video because it's in there somewhere <laughs> and then i made this fish and i still have a whole skein and um like a ball so i'm probably gonna make some more fish or something but i think this is just so cute this little fish pattern i think i did the tail a little wrong i think the little fins are supposed to be sideways but i mean it doesn't matter it's still cute and i love his little eyes I just, it's so cute it turned out so cute um i couldn't find this pattern on her website um or his i don't really know if it's him or her but it's not on their Etsy for sale. So I don't know if I bought this pattern or if I got it for free somewhere because I've had it in my stash of patterns. And before I started doing YouTube videos, I wasn't very good at keeping up with um, who did what patterns and all that because I just used them for myself, you know. But uh, I will link the Etsy shop of this person who wrote this pattern below. And maybe if you want this fish pattern, maybe you can find it through there or by messaging, messaging them or something. I don't know. I will try to help. This thing's a little crooked, but you know, I'm not that, I'm not that worried about it. I'm not the best at sewing stuff together, but I think this turned out super cute. And I'd like to try to pop out a few more of these in different colors for my craft fair that's coming up. And I will do some videos about that craft fair, like before and then after it. Um, when the time gets here, it's October 12th. <laughs> so I will try to do one about how I price stuff. Uh, and, you know, this is my first craft fair, so I don't know if my prices are going to do good or not for my area. I have to wait until the craft fair is over with, and then I can, I'll do another video then. But I got to uh, hop off here and get this video up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.